The EU Bridge WP6 Pharma Traceability Business Application was to track and trace a range of mass serialized, uniquely identified generic products that could be coded, marked and aggregated within the manufacturing environment and integrated into a single database. The Bridge project has allowed um, a group of enthusiastic people to show the benefit of mass serialization on products and how track and trace can be implemented within a pharmaceutical supply chain. The true test was always going to be could you do it in a mass market situation with uh, high volume drugs that were commonplace drugs to be prescribed um, where patient safety and security where potentially reimbursement and other issues came into play but that they could be simply authenticated at a number of places within the supply chain. Um, first of all, what we were trying to achieve was a supply chain-wide traceability project based on mass serialization techniques where we were tracking and tracing product across an international supply chain at all levels of packaging, providing that track and trace facilities as product moved down the supply chain to the hospital pharmacy. At the moment we use EAN 13 barcodes and we use those quite a lot, we use them within our robots. The problem with EAN is that it, it identifies the product but we've got no um, batch number or expiry date involved with that. Our role, JJ Associates, within this to the Bridge project was coordination of the work package itself. Working with the other solution providers, um, that's VeriSign, that's GS1 UK, that's Domino, uh, and that is Melia Solutions. We have learnt a considerable amount, not only in terms of how to handle coding at the manufacturing level. Throughout the project, uh, the focus was on ensuring that it met the required standards. We worked with nine different organisations to supply the various elements of the pilot, from product packing to delivery. We used 19 products packed at Athlone Laboratories in Ireland, who specialise in antibiotic products, and at Choa Pack in Holland, who are a specialist pharmaceutical contract packing company, who can code and mark from blister to pallet level. Product was packed, coded and aggregated at three packaging levels, carton or item level, case and pallet. And all data was recorded and stored to the EPCIS system, as provided by VeriSign. Product then entered the normal logistics chain via distributors and wholesalers, where orders received from the hospital were processed and product picked for delivery. As far as Unichem was concerned, it was quite a straightforward um, concept in so far as there were 15 products which we were required to receive, um, scan through the, um, this radio frequency um, equipment and then pick the orders as we would normally pick and use the scanning equipment to, to scan those goods out. The carrier gives you the data so that's where you, you start off there and then you collect that data but then you have to do something with that data so you have to process it, manage it um, and that's where the EPCIS started to come in, so the Electronic Product Code Information System. Uh, one of the th issues that we have is that, uh, uh, certainly in the UK market, just because you sold it to one person doesn't necessarily mean that's where the product will come back from. The project, whilst it's got all the different aspects of the counterfeiting, etc., from a manufacturing standpoint, uh, the challenge in this project was to make sure that we could actually get the, incorporate the process into uh, our manufacturing uh, machines. The bridge project for Choapec was a, sort of an extension of what we were always doing. We had to deal with it slightly differently just because it was um, to do with like quarantine. Well, we do quarantine some stock, but we had to make sure because we had, this was live stock for them as well. And we've always known that if you address patient safety, you'll also achieve efficiency. In hospitals, how many times do you hear that they give the wrong medication to the wrong person? If you can track and trace a product from manufacturer here to the patient at the far end, it gives you some confidence that they're getting what we made. I imagine the next step is then to go onto the patient so it's received by the pharmacy and then it will get to the patient bedside and they can scan it and say, OK, this is, this is in dates, it's perfectly OK to use and it will be a lot safer for the patient. The EU Bridge WP6 Pharma Traceability Business Application 
creating a mass serialization solution to meet all current legislation for pharmaceutical track and trace and authentication.